Alberta's last chance to keep it in uh, in Alberta. Two Edmontonians came down, spanked all of the Calgary opposition put in front of them, and Bryson is currently undefeated with Nim Miranda. He waded through day one with a massive MOV. I think you lost two ships, two in, ships day, yeah. in a day. Yeah, a hundred. Uh, 11,001 MLB, something like that. Yeah, something. <laughs> 1,100. Yeah. It was good. It was good. Better than me. <laughs> and then we yeah, have... we know Chris would never do that well. <laughs> <laughs> a quick draw with three new squadrons. I should probably change the labeling to red, blue, and green, is it? Yep. Red, blue, green. So we'll go... Oh, sorry, red, purple, green. Red. At least the colors sort of show purple up on the camera. Green. That's nice. There we go. Rather than numbering them, it'll make it simpler all around. And yep. how, how did you do? Uh, uh, I lost one game in Swiss, and it was to Bryson. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Revenge yeah. is sweet. And you've never played each other before. You're going to be really respectful of each other. <laughs> <laughs> is that correct? We are best friends. With we will that. do our best. <laughs> we'll do, we will do our best. <laughs> be happy. To be happy. Just wait for the first Natty roll. <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys, your time has started now. Bryson has initiative. Good luck, everybody. Now, I see three identical ships. I like that list. <laughs> it's not four, list. but I like it. It's a good list. If it's on the, uh, the Create podcast, it must be good. <laughs> Long range scanners and harpoons is pretty stripped down. Not even you, optic triangle. You, you get more of them, as we discussed in the last game. Yeah. Uh, it's with gunboats an interesting puzzle. You can take lots of different approaches. Not using title saves you points. Yep. And if you don't think you're going to need it. Oh. So for the people watching live, we are going to try to do minimal opinion based comment commentary. We'll point out obvious things, but we do want to try to keep influencing the game potential to a minimum. Especially since the players can hear us very clearly. The opinion we should probably restrict himself to is like, why did he choose purple and why not blue for his base? <laughs> sure. I mean, blue would have been logical, you know, that's... Obviously, How we pick it's, colors for it's blue speeds. for boys, so we know the pilot of that gumbo is male. Then it's red for Rhodian. Yeah, see? Yeah. Rhodian gumbo pilots in the Empire. Yeah, that's, that's going to be a no. <laughs> Bryson taking the, uh, the flanking option on the bottom left hand side, Nim on the inside, Miranda on the outside. The line of gunboats with quick draw dominating the centre of the table. A really open asteroid field. Yeah, both have players the, have optic uh, from very small ones. Yeah, have a nice line of asteroids trying to hem in great, uh, Bryson's deployment zone. And then three scattered in the centre. Yep, because they've all opted for fairly small ones. Oh. The asteroids will play less role than, I, than in one where everyone's chosen one of the large ones, I think. Uh, it's, <laughs> in my experience, some players tend to overlook the small ones a little more easily or be a little more greedy with the small ones because they're smaller. I think they feel like it's they feel like it's safer to try and dodge it because like because it looks small and there's a psychological component there. They're like, oh, yeah, it's more, smaller, I shouldn't hit it. More people hit the mustache rock than any other rock in the game. Yeah, that's been my experience. That's why I threw mine away and then Bill had to give me another one. Then you threw it away again? <laughs> no, I think it's still in my wallet, actually. <laughs> well, that thing is cash. Okay. Swamming has started. Indeed. 
It's one thing I love about the gunboats, they can cover so much distance. It looks like a slow, clunky ship, and in some ways it kind of is. But then they do stuff like this. I like it. It's really good. Yeah. I don't even mean from a competitive standpoint, I just feel like it opens lots of options for play styles. As someone whose first computer game was TIE Fighter, I love the gunboat to pieces. There was never any question that I was going to buy four of them. Swamming again on the green one. Yep. The long range scanners do offer that interesting ability to set up and pick your target quite early. For the skill too, it's definitely a uh, choice over well, chips in this building. Said it now. I'm just gonna have a side look. So, genius trajectory simulator as a seismic. Actually, um, I nudged it slightly. So, see, as long as one admits that it's personal opinion, then it should be large ship only. That's fine. <laughs> It will be whatever FFG decides yeah. it is. Uh, I'm going to look yeah. for a target lock on the far guy. Nope. I will take a target lock on this guy here. I mean, FFG has finally demonstrated that they're willing to make substantive changes to a ship hull if they think it's impressive. So. And it's all going to be on Captain Nim all the time. And Deadeye's alteration to small ship only. <laughs> yeah. So trajectory simulator to large ship only is a potential outcome. I think you've got to give a community time to try to adapt to it. Oh yeah. Yeah. The upgrade's been out a month, right? If Red you rolled them in a dice tray, you might not have that oh, problem. Yeah, so oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that is two damage on red. Yeah. Yep. TLD popped him for two. See, that's sass from a commentary team there. Oh, sorry. 
trying to stretch you guys out even more. I've just noticed the uh, the markers for the Gunbolt cards being chunks of Lego. That is my favourite thing ever. Not that I have you know, commentator bias now. He's playing with Lego and gunships. It's all the childhood. It was a seismic that was lung originally, I believe. Yep, that's and then Nim did hold it on the table. Just pulling the eliminated list out. This is yep, the this other is player. Sean Ross. There's only one Nim Miranda left. Yeah, this was limited, right? No, that one's gone. That one's gone. So this is the round. Yeah. This is the other matchup. So the other matchup is Dash versus the SFs? Actually, um, yeah, I'll turn off the time. Because that's. Yeah. Nim is. <laughs> I reach for my grip here. So Nim is going to reel it out. He's going to fling a proton. Mm. <laughs> They're the same size. You don't need to put it down. Okay. So I guess, yeah. Yeah. Unless you're going to hold one of them. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> I haven't figured out what I want to do with my leg yet. Hold both of them. I'll let you. <laughs> uh, I'll turn back on. Yeah. So Sean Morris was eliminated. Yeah. Okay. And, and that would be the double proton bomb with extra munitions. Yeah. So he's gone. Yeah. Oh, this bomb looks like it's going to be nasty. Thing. Okay, uh, so start of combat, I'm going to let the proton bomb go off first, so you can uh, just... You mean the end of the activation? End of activation, yeah. Uh, so start of combat, I'm going to let the proton go off, so just deal them out as per, because they're going to hit each of these ships. Yeah, so which... So, uh, so you, you pick the you pick pick ship and then just deal it up face up. Let's go quick draw first. Okay. Damage cockpit. Oh. Uh, I mean, skill zero. Quick draw status skill zero. Uh, green stun pilot, okay. Green can't overlap anymore without taking a spectrum. Direct hit onto purple. Direct hit on the purple. Okay. Um, well, purple got off easy from the looks of it. And then. You, have a, you took a target lock on him? Yep. Nice. Well, from that bomb, I'm going to uh, Sabine one onto uh, green. Sure, let's let the, let's let the around after six. Yeah, let's let the seismic velocity. Everyone takes one, so we're dropping it a shot. Lots of typing to do. Uh, I don't believe red was hit by that bomb. Oh, did I do yeah, you did. You did. Ah. You did one on red. Oh right. Red is oh, right. top. Two 
draws a regular shot? My regular shot. Quick draws shot from taking damage. Did nothing. Focus. Oh my god. Wow. One hit. Two Quick draw does nothing. Oh no. The now he's around the other side now. The end of the harpoon missile. At three. Alright, at three. At three. I'm going to spend the charlock to reroll these two. And you're going to go with the harpoon. And then guys chips a crit for three hits and one crit. For four. Seems good. Okay, so that's going to be. So you're gonna take uh, one shield and one crit. Okay, so one left, one left. Taking your harpoons. Yep, green's down to one and harpoon. So yeah, I mean, you may not need to update that partially. <coughs> you stay your focus, correct? I did. Been burned by you before here, bud. In this exact situation. Ryan's gonna shoot her harpoon. Okay. Just regular. Oh. I'm gonna spend the lock to reroll these three. I, 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 I'm just gonna, yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna guide it to a hit. Maybe you should, maybe you should roll that. It's a, it's it's roll again. He's, he's dead. Okay, so what, what is it? Take? So you're gonna take uh, two, two hits, two crit. one crit. So one, two. So it was uh, an uncancelled crit. Yeah, yeah. So, then so the, the hap so then. before you deal the damage from the hit, the oh. harpoon condition condition triggers. Yep. Oh. So uh -oh. because it's an uncancelled crit, mm -hmm. you do harpoon condition first. Okay. Okay, then let me, let me deal with so, that. So yeah. Okay, so how many did I take? It was three. Well, you had two. You had one left after that. Yeah. Okay. So, you had, so this damage. is so this is harpoon. Yeah. This is harpoon, and then. One. So you deal with damage from harpoon and that will trigger yeah. the harpooning. Yeah. But the ship has not been removed yet. Yeah, so everyone here is gonna take one more. Uh, so so, one out one. One. so uh, you're pulling your other hull uh, shield exactly. off purple yeah. and And then this now the ship's removed, so then yeah. it's not gonna trigger again, correct? Yeah. Correct. Okay, so he's gone. And green's dead. Okay. Um and that gives Bryson 22 points. Seems like a good start. It seems like a harpoon trajectory simulator nim start. Yep. Well, let's see how much damage he takes from the return of fire. Focus. Oh no, I don't have focus. Focus. Yes, two hits. Ouch. I think so, it's two. That was a much that, more disappointing that was not, harpoon. That was not anywhere near enough damage. And harpooned. Nope. Mim is now harpooned. And then this guy range one. Yep. Two. So the gunboat can't make it good. We can go two dots, I believe. Okay. Well, he knocked him down to a single shield. So it How much is left on everyone? So he has. Victor has uh, one, two, three, five, and one, two, three. So I have quick draw with. Um, and so I'm just coming back. He shot his harpoon, correct? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This is not good. Obviously, if he took damage to cockpit, he took the whole damage. Yep. Oh, 
very unfortunate crit to get on somebody that you're putting veteran instincts on. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go with two hard kick. Purple's running out to follow up. Very defensive round. Has to be a moment. Oh yeah, very much so. So the target lock attempt fails. Yeah. Looks like. Oh boy. Okay. 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 Wouldn't be a game on three and someone didn't kick the table. Yes. Even down here, people will still find a way to hit the camera. There we go. Game on. <laughs> no damage. No. Pilot school zero. Okay, you're pilot school zero. Well, there's another shot. Yeah, another shot. Oh, okay. Yeah. That, was a, that was a crit. Like, I'll shoot up then. I think so. Ha ha. So, crit, shake and pilot, and then face it. Wait, yeah, the, it's the other way around. It's the harpoon triggers first, and then yeah. you go. Yeah, that is correct. So, no, no. So, the. Uh, oh, that's face it. down. Yeah. And then they just direct it. So. Okay. So, it's gone. You have to. So the crit is a direct. Okay. What does it burning. Okay. 
suddenly it looks like Craig's back in it. It's, it's a good job you get half yeah, points. It's a good job well, you get half points for a small bit. Like <laughs> I'm quite interested to see how Greg approaches the matchup from this point. It's an interesting game at the moment. It's going to be difficult to quick draw to win. But yeah. With both core ships flying away, with both sets of ships flying away from each other and on and already being on opposite sides of the board, it's going to be a while for sure before any re-engage is possible. And your ancestors will walk onto him. Okay. Long red scanner is what's in. Yep. And this guy is probably. <coughs> so, two target locks. Just lunging across the table there. She'll look for a lock. No. She'll just take focus. <laughs> Aim too hard. Aim with four streets. Oh. Until the, uh, the community learns how to uh, approach. The, uh, the list, it. I don't think it's unbeatable by any stretch, but if you uh, saw the start of this game, I'm sure Greg won't mind me saying it too much, but he did a, um, did a perfect demonstration of how you don't approach Captain Nim. <laughs> you have to approach somewhere. Yeah. Take the yeah. The, uh, the ability to double stack a bomb to go off in one phase at pilot skill 10 is extremely strong. Seems pretty good. Well, it looks like it is the list of the season. Yeah. After we are done regional season, I bet is when FFG is going to evaluate whether or not they want to do something about it. Uh, it's, it'd be unusual for them to do something halfway through a season, so I think we've got it until March. Just ban it from all of your uh, seasonal kit events so that no one has time to practice it. <laughs> but then nobody has a chance to practice yeah, against it. Against no, it. You've seen hey, the cunning I part of the fun. Yeah. Silver <laughs> I thought you wanted people to not play metal lists. Um, hey, yeah, the problem is that people I are going to play what's good. Yeah. It's not a problem. Yes. I'll, I'll just play this. It's 
to double check again. It would appear that I have it wrong. Yeah, they should have both reloaded. Um, Looks like there's going to be a shooting since that target lock is in. There's three left, I understand? Yep. Two hall, one shield. Yeah. Um, I need to take a focus. So the only shot is Ryan. Ryan is going to shoot uh, for last harpoon at this guy. You're not going to raise your primary? I'm going to drop a shield for five dice. Yeah, I have to admit that Ty SF has been doing a lot better than I initially Let's expected it to be. To roll these two dice. Oh yeah, Miranda shielding to extra missiles. Yeah. Uh, that is him, so... You fight nothing. One, two, three, four, go on. Yep. And purple explodes horribly. An unfortunate slam choice. What's the greens on the SF? Three straight? One bank, one straight, two straight, three straight. Thank you. It's actually the same as uh, the T65, the T70. Right? Yeah, someone knows it. It has swoops instead of talon rolls. I believe. It doesn't. Oh, yeah, well, yeah. Take a target lock. Quick draw. He's doing a long day. Could actually. Here, just. Right, is that a misses? Yeah. Mandra has used both harpoons to very good effect. Okay. Um, here's a target lock. Uh, so Nimbus is going to take a target lock. Yeah. 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 And here's the attempt to finish quick draw. Gets to live. Unfortunately, the only shots are going to be at Miranda.
I think Crimson Specialist as a resistance bomber is really going to come into his own as the uh, bombing meta develops the ability to place those templates in really weird positions that your opponent's not expecting. Yep. Just being in contact with his base is going to prove to be pretty strong. Yeah, it's one of the two things I'm trying to get on the table, but I keep not actually playing X Wing. <laughs> it's like I'm you suddenly. You can't really count the Chicago regional map since they just made up the rules, so... Of course tonight is If we play, you know, imaginary oh, uh, X-Wing right. matches, anything can make a cut. I'm going to ban everything until Naked Hawks are the best. Because that's how I feel like X-Wing should be played. With nothing but Hawks? Because that, that's the only way you could get there, by that's banning literally everything and else. And all the upgrade cuts. Greedo. Greedo's the only upgrade I want. <laughs> Greedo and all the Hawks. And guidance chips? Is your chips okay? <laughs> oh dear. Because <laughs> you banned everything that carries a secondary weapon. Well, no, no. So, you know? Well, like, like, if, well, if <laughs> Just do this. <laughs> <laughs> um, Just do it! I'm fine, I'm just praying for Lux, I don't think I'm going to go. Oh, oh, uh, it wasn't in there. You can change it to, as, as you said, have battle. Point him at the table edge. Yeah, that much, it's fine. Okay. Name's going to take a target lock at the, uh, at your dude. Pin missile. Uh, hold it's explodey time. time. <laughs> uh, start a combat, I'm going to hold the proton bomb. Uh, Nim's gonna fire his last, uh, harpoon. Four dice. I'm gonna spend a lot to reroll these two. Alright, here's the nannies. Guy strips out into a crit. Seems pretty good. So, three, two in a crit. I'll reach. Uh, I'll listen <laughs> on the last one. Uh, Back to Major Holbrook. Uh, yep. Right, right. <laughs> One hole left. Mm. And you're uh, so three dice. Uh, One hit. One hit. Nice. Hey. All right. Safe. 
Die, Nim, die. Wow. Wow. Blank, blank, focus, focus. Okay. Believe in the dream. Yeah, Greg's going to concede with only one hall left. <laughs> <laughs> 